Hey everybody, it's your guy Eagles here and I'm back with a new spiritual reading video. Um, first gotta say, I'm feeling very, very good right now, vibrating really high. Um, I had a dope call with some of my brothers um, today and I will say this, um, in this time period that we're in and even outside of this time period um, with the whole pandemic that's going on, it's so important to have a sense of community. And um, if you don't have it, let me know if you guys, you know, want to have like a, um, what do you call it? Like a, a group me or if you guys want to do, you know, um, some type of like group threads, video conferencing, whatever. Um, if you guys want to do some type of telecommunication thing to stay connected um, so that you feel like you do have a support system as you're going through this. If you don't have a community of people to lean into, definitely let me know that you can either email me if you don't feel comfortable putting it in, it, putting it in um, the comments below. My email is readingsreiki at gmail dot com. Um, so I definitely that's very important to have that. So just being able to have my brother just kind of pour back into me and be like, man, you you got to stay on your post and continue to, you know, be at your optimum so that you can help other people. And, you know, one of my gifts to the world um, and something that I feel rejuvenated by doing is, you know, um, using my intuition to provide answers and to help give other people clarity and insight. So without further ado, today we're getting into some NBA spiritual um, readings. So let me first just say again, this is for entertainment purposes, so it may resonate, it may not resonate, but I'm you know how, how I always do. I, I see what I and I see what I pick up on the spiritual realm for different people, and I just have to share that. I have to be transparent about it. And I've definitely gotten a lot more comfortable with presenting information. That sometimes people don't necessarily want to hear, but I'm not the type of reader where I'm going to say what you want to hear because it makes you feel good to keep you coming back. Of course, I'm not going to be the type of person either that's just going to be negative and give you information in a way that it feels, you know, disempowering. But I'm not going to kowtow either and sugarcoat stuff. So. Today, we're going to be talking about Kyrie Irving. We're going to be talking about LeBron James. And we're going to be talking about your guy, Steph Curry. All right. Let me give me a little sip of water before we get into this. Who should I start with first, Spirit? Um, okay, Steph Curry. All right. Um, one thing that you have to know about your guy, Steph Curry. Again, this is entertainment purposes all right but you got Steph Curry is um he wears a lot of masks he's a guy who what you see is not what you get um and he's someone who's also very very intuitive he's a very um spiritual man and I'm not just talking about you know his faith or his religion He's someone who is very in tune with vibration and um, the laws of the universe. And he knows how to use those things for his advantage. Um, he has the energy of like the cat. The cat is very independent, um, very intelligent, but also very sneaky and with this, he is able to maneuver in a way that helps to he's able to maneuver in a way where he can do the dirty work um, that he needs to do to get what he wants without people being on to his trail. He knows how to throw people off his scent very, very well. Um, and this is not to say that he is a bad person or he's a good person. This is just what it is um i 
I, I feel like, you know, when I was following Steph very heavily, before I even read on a dude, I'm like, there's something there where it's just kind of like, I don't want to say he's phony, but that whole good boy, good guy next door image, that ain't really how the homie is when it comes down behind the scenes. He's a very mercurial guy, which means that his temperament is a little bit more on the cutthroat side. You know what I'm saying? He's more like, um, I'm going to do what I need to do to make sure I get ahead. And I, this is the perfect example that's coming to me right now to help explain it to you. Thank you, ancestors. I appreciate this. So you ever see the kid in class who probably on the basketball team, he's, you know, has high honors, you know, he's a good Christian guy. And maybe people are saying like he's not having sex before marriage. He's so wholesome and this and that. But you see him after school, you know, in the back parking lot with the cheerleaders and the windows is fogged up. But he's getting out and he's like, you know, acting like everything is cool and good. Or he's a guy where he's copying on a test or he's having other people do his homework and taking credit for it. And everybody assumes like because he's so calculating and how he delivers what it is that he's doing, how he executes his stuff that nobody ever is focusing like to say, Hey, maybe he really didn't do that. Or maybe he's not as wholesome and good as he appears to be. Um, one thing that I can say that is also very apparent is he is very, very protective over his family. Um, the claws will come out, <laughs> you know, the feline will definitely let the claws out if you um if you don't respect his family and and I'm not even this, I'm not it's not even more so his wife it's really his kids um especially his firstborn daughter I don't know if he's like grooming her to be in entertainment or the spotlight but it seems like there is a lot of emphasis on presenting her like I see her doing different things where she's talking like in boardrooms like i don't know if this is like a deal that they're signing for her to kind of be like a kid spokesperson pardon me or well, she's going to be doing like a cartoon a voiceover or anything like that i don't know it could be toys who knows but i definitely see that there's some conversations around the firstborn and some opportunities business wise and he's very 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 like shark like about how he's presenting her how he's protecting her and how he's going to make sure at the end of the day that the bag that she gets is going to be equitable for the value of of the brand that he perceives her to have um the connection with his wife seems to be very like um they remind me of like a young college couple um that how do I want to say this? I'm getting texts too from people, which is kind of throwing me off right now. Um, let me bring it back in. Give me some water real quick. Okay, so the energy that they have with is like how can I best like immature is a word that's coming up, but I don't I don't mean it in the sense of like they're juvenile. As if like, you know, they're just a very silly couple. I mean it more so in the sense that it seems like there's a lot of like fire in that household where um, they could be arguing a lot, you know, where there's a lot of conflict. Um, it definitely feels like the wife wants a lot more of his attention and his energy and devotion. And the reason why I'll say this, the reason why I'm doing these three players together is because they're so different <laughs> that it's like literally it's, it's really striking how different they are and how different their households are. So that's that. That's what I'm, I'm going to say about that. And let me just segue on over to LeBron, brother LeBron um, and his wife. So whereas Steph Curry has like an iron fist that he's ruling with, 
LeBron James is more of the type in his household where he's taking a back seat. It's Savannah who's really running the show. She calling them shots up in there. But he trusts her. And LeBron does not trust a lot of people. He has a lot of trust issues. Um, and a lot of things that stem from his upbringing, childhood, him feeling like he was kind of put in different positions to have to be more responsible at a younger age than he was really ready to be. So as he's older now, it's like he's going to be cordial and he's actually a lot more diplomatic in real life than your guy Steph Curry is. LeBron James seems like he's kind of like, you know, always business minded, you know, doing his thing, but he's more of the guy that you could grab a beer with and actually have a cool chop it up with um, than you got Curry. Now, this ain't to say that LeBron James is a perfect guy by all means because LeBron has an issue with trusting himself. He has an issue with stepping into his own greatness and his own power. And there's a lot of issues that he deals with as far as like his confidence. He has a lot of insecurities as far as being thrust into um, this mega stardom that he has. And his wife is one of the catalysts in his life that he very that he trusts through and through um, to kind of help to say, hey, like, yes, this is OK to go down this path. This is cool for you to do this or nah, you might want to look out because that may not necessarily be the best move for you. Um, so one thing that I also see is that LeBron is going to be challenged to come from out of come from out of like following. He has a spirit on him where it's like he follows people where it's like he doesn't really have the confidence to stand flat footed and to say, this is what I feel. This is what I believe. And it is what it is. Steph Curry is more the type where his energy is like when I walk on the court and when he's with his team, y'all going to listen to what I want to do. OK, you you going to listen to how I want to run a play and how I want to do it. He might necessarily he might not necessarily be as vocal as the way I just described it, but he definitely will maneuver and weave around and talk to the right sources to that. So where when he walks on the court, everybody automatically understands and he doesn't have to address that. LeBron, on the other hand, he leads more so by example. And for him, he's not necessarily always comfortable with being that spokesperson. It's like he's thrusted in this position by proxy, by his skill set. That's it. But he doesn't have that confidence within himself yet to be like, let me just kind of stand in my greatness. OK, that's something that he definitely has to work on. And it seems like it's going to be a while before, like when he gets in his 50s, he's going to be a lot more settled and comfortable within itself but right now he's just kind of like i'm here but i'm listening to everything that everybody wants me to do and i'm doing it because they're telling me i should do it versus me doing something because i personally feel a conviction um or empowered by doing this let's segue over to your guy Kyrie, because i'm not gonna be long today i got some other stuff i gotta get into um business wise but Kyrie Irving is a very gentle soul, and I really feel for the guy because it feels like he deals with um, a lot of darkness, like he deals with a lot of depression. That's kind of the energy around him. Um, he seems like he has a very withdrawn energy and withdrawn in the sense like he's kind of like apathetic, like I'm here but my heart ain't really in it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm here, but my mind is someplace else. And it's really disheartening for me to kind of see this stuff because dude really does have a genuine, gentle soul. It's very, very like, you know, it's very humble and it's, it's coming from a good place. But it seems as if he has just kind of been broken in a way where it's just kind of like he's real, I don't want to say fragile, but it, you got to really use a lot of um, patience when you around him. And he's not going to show that overtly 
to everybody. He's going to kind of be like the cool dude who walks in the room. Hey, how y'all doing? But be to himself. But when you get him on a one on one like stage scenario, you're going to start to see like, man, like he. He really he needs a little bit more support and um, compassion and sensitivity than what some other people may need. And that's very challenging because he's in a, a spotlight where he's a very famous man. He's in sports, which is not something that, you know, people have a lot of sensitivity in. Um, but I feel for the dude. I feel like one beautiful thing for him would be to have more of a quiet life. So to settle down, you know, um, get married, have kids like him having children is going to be a way for him to heal because children for him will provide him with an opportunity to be really creative. And through that creativity, he'll be able to release a lot of the frustration um, and disappointment that he's held on to. Um, I also am getting some things as far as like money management. So I don't know if he has his family like on payroll, but it seems like he it's like a hole in the pocket where as a way of just kind of keeping the peace, he'll rather give than to say no. Um, so I definitely would encourage brother Kyrie to, um, you know, to do some, get, get, get a trusted advisor, get a therapist, somebody that you really trust who can kind of help him to build that up and to be very, very critical about the friends that he would allow into his life and who he who he surrounds himself with because he has the energy of like the sponge where he can absorb a lot of negativity or a lot of positivity. So it's really important to um, to maintain and protect that. So that's all I got for today. Um, love y'all. Um, if you guys have any thoughts on this. If you disagree with the reading, you agree with it, let me know in the comments. Um, as always, ten cuidate, nos vemos y tengo buen día.